Well, let's start talking just a little bit about the overall recruiting process, mm -hmm. uh, starting from the beginning. Was yes. it was it everything you hoped and dreamed it would be? And, and did you really feel right before the commitment that it was starting to become a little overwhelming for you too? <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, I didn't really know a whole lot about like what the whole process would be like going into it, but I just always had people telling me that it was a like really fun experience, get to meet a lot of people, see a lot of cool places, and that's really what it was for me. I had a great time. Um, just with very thankful and blessed with all the opportunities I was given and had a great time getting out to see all those different places and meeting tons of different people and creating great relationships. So that was, I think that was what it, the whole recruiting process was like for me. And towards the end, it did get, start to get a little like stressful and overwhelming. And I figured out where I wanted to go after just talking with my parents and uh, my coach and everything and figuring out what was best for me. and. If I knew, why wait? So that's that's how I came to my conclusion of K State. You had, I, I felt like early on, and correct me if maybe mm -hmm. we were misreading it, um, but it felt like your recruitment kind of went a couple different directions. Mm -hmm. There was some strong KU stuff at the beginning. Yep. Then Iowa State kind of felt like they took the lead, and then mm -hmm. K State eventually kind of took the lead as well. Do you is that accurate, or do you feel like maybe K State was more towards the top all along? Um, for me personally, I, I tried to keep it all on kind of the down low, and I. I really enjoyed reading all the things about my recruitment <laughs> just because it's crazy how accurate some of them can actually be when like I felt like I didn't like open up or share too much so it was pretty pretty cool obviously both my parents were Kansas graduates so I feel like that's kind of what uh, fed into that for a while but um, K-State was there my first offer from the very beginning uh, and I just felt a strong connection with them from the very start and having that um, Iowa State was a great place all the people up there are fantastic people and I really loved it up there, and uh, when it came down to it, it just K State ended up being the the best spot for me, and I'd say it was it was definitely up there the whole time. So, with K State, um, how have they talked to you? Not only maybe before you committed, but maybe even now since you have committed, mm -hmm. uh, has Coach Lepac and them really dived in more about how they want to use you, and and kind of maybe gotten a chance to dive into the the scheme and the playbook a little bit more yeah. now that you're committed? Mm -hmm. Especially in my last visit that I was up there, um, actually before I committed, it was like a week or two before I committed there. We really got to get into the, the playbook and the whole schematic part of it and just see how I'd fit, be able to fit into the offense and mm -hmm. how to be able to work well um, with their style of play. And then um, I've just had a great relationship with them from the very beginning and just talking with Coach LePac and Coach Klein and Coach Kleiman, just being able to uh, really envision myself and within the offense and as a part of the football team is, has been a really fun process and cool thing for me to be able to do. So, Have they talked much about like how they want to use that tight end position um, mm -hmm. and, and you know have what we've seen in the last couple years, is that kind of how it, they want to continue doing it or do they even see maybe using the tight end even more than they have in the past now that they have somebody like you that can really stretch the field? Yeah, I, I believe um, just from talking with them, they are gonna uh, really what's the word I'm looking for? Like use them, use them more. Like you were saying, stretch the field. Obviously, um, as a tight end, you have to be able to do it all. You got to be able to put your hand down on the ground and get in there and block. You got to be able to split out wide and and uh, go dust some dudes and catch a ball deep. So uh, I think in the past it's been more just hand in the ground, blocking that kind of stuff. Right. But, um, especially when, what I've seen spring practices and everything, it's because it's looking to be more of a, a dual threat, both blocking and split out wide. So. What have you seen in spring practices that's maybe caught your eye at that position? I would imagine you're watching some of those mm -hmm. guys a little bit more closely. Were there any are there any names that like have stood out in the brief instances you've been able to see them in person? Um, yes, uh, Sonnet. I really like watching him. He's a very physical mm -hmm. player. Um, just being able to see the physicality of all the guys up there. Um, others, or no, S Sinnott. Oh Sinnott yeah, Ben Sinnott, like, yeah. yeah. Ben Sinnott, sorry, mm -hmm. I was mixing them up. Ben Sinnott, uh, just the physicality, um, there's a couple more, I'm just blanking on names right now. But uh, really that whole group of guys on, the, on their tight ends, uh, room or just very physical guys. Mm -hmm. um, they're all super athletic, being able to move around out there, go catch balls, make plays, and. Uh, it's just, I see myself fitting in well with them and uh, they're going to be great uh, examples to look up to. Do you feel like sometimes you get pegged and, and kind of put in a hole that, that you're um, more of just a receiver type? Um, do you feel like that you have more to prove and, 
show fans once you get up there that you can be a, a, a physical guy too, that you don't mind getting getting dirty and do yeah. some blocks. <laughs> um, so the thing with me, actually, when I was like in middle school football, I was always split out wide. That was just kind of my thing. I just split out wide. I'd you know post and go routes and all that stuff, and uh, that's really uh, what I did all through middle school. And then getting into high school actually um, is when I started being in tight more often. And being in tight, actually, I've been in tight 80%, maybe even more than that, of my snaps in high school. And being able, having that, it's helped me develop that toughness of being able to put my hand in the ground and just get after it. So I think uh, I've, I, I still have room to work in both areas, obviously, but I think I've developed in my blocking ability a lot over the past couple of years. And obviously being able to split out and do some stuff out on the outside of the field is helpful too. And, it allows for some versatility there. How quickly do you think you can see the field? Um, and how quickly, like, do you have a goal set of how soon you want to try yeah. and push? Um, I'm going to try and get out there as early as I can. Obviously, I'll be in communication with Coach LePac, Coach Klein, Coach Kleiman, uh, just see what they're thinking too. Uh, I'm not really entirely sure <laughs> on timeline yet. I'm going to take it step by step, day by day, year by year, and just figure out what the what my process is going to be like. But. I'm looking to go out there and make an impact as soon as I, as soon as I can and uh, just get up there and help any way I can. Well, and, and last but not least, had a chance to talk with Wesley, like I said, this morning. And obviously there was a lot of conversation between mm -hmm. us about the job that you and he are kind of doing now tag team yes. in this area yep. um, because of how close you are with the number of the players that still mm -hmm. are uncommitted in this area. Has it been fun putting the recruiting hat on and, yes. and kind of playing the role of Taylor Bratt for a little bit? Definitely, it's been it's been a lot of fun. I'm in I'm in communication with those guys uh, pretty often. Uh, Dylan, Avery, Joe, uh, probably the main three ones that I talk to, and you know it's a lot of fun. I try and you know I, I know everyone has their own process that they go through, and I don't want to step in and interfere too much. But I always just let them know, and I'm sure Wesley does too, that they've always got a home in Manhattan, and that uh, us Kansas kids could go up there and make something special and uh, really just put us on the on the map so and final question for me when you kind of look back at your recruitment what what's kind of the the coolest memory that you feel like you oh, you took wow. away from this is there one thing that you're going to be able to you know look back and you know tell your kids about one day about how cool it was <laughs> <laughs> I mean all of it really I mean it's it's a, pretty much a surreal process from start to finish um, it's nice to feel wanted um, by a variety of different people but at the same time uh, just being able to keep your head down and keep grinding and stay humble through the whole process and uh, just know that all the opportunities that you've been given are for a reason and that you have to keep proving yourself day in and day out. It's, I think that is probably the biggest lesson I learned is that no matter how much attention you get, you still have to work and put in all the work that you did to get to that spot every day.